Hey guys, Eric here with uh, now playing of Marvel Heroes. I am joined with David Brevik, the president and COO of Gazillion, and also many others here from Gazillion. Steven, who is driving right now on uh, Wolverine, and then we have Ryan and Leo over there as well, and I think someone else also from the office. Yep. Yes. Playing at the office. Playing at the office, yes. yes. Um, so, you know, if you guys have questions and whatnot, um, feel free to put it in the chat. I'll be monitoring that. Um, and we can ask David what we, whatever you guys want to know. And uh, I think we're just going to jump in. You want to jump good. in? Let's, let's do it. Let's take a look. Okay. All right. So uh, here we are in Avengers Tower, uh, one of our hubs uh, that we have. Um, we're going to be playing as Wolverine today, uh, awesome. which should be fun. And uh, we have a few other people that have grouped up with us. We've got uh, Wolverine and Scarlet Witch. Uh, we've got Punisher and Hulk. And I think that we're going to head to Madripoor. Sweet. Sounds good. Give me a dress first. What's that? Oh, you're going to get dressed first. Very nice. We'll get Wolverine <laughs> to dress appropriately for our trip to Madripoor here. There you go. Bring his special Madripoor type outfit patch. Nice. Also, side note, guys, just so you know, there will be uh, beta code drops throughout the stream. Thank I think we're going to do one um, pretty early or soon. Uh, it's it's good for multiple use. Uh, you're going to need to head on over to marvelheroes.com. Yes. You're going to have to sign up there. And then once you guys are uh, make your account, you're going to have to go to your profile, I believe, and then redeem the key and make sure you, you enter everything, including the hyphens. And hopefully you guys get the data but uh, on to Madripoor and, and Wolverine here yeah so uh, obviously there's a lot of differences between this and many other MMOs on the market uh, in this it is a superhero MMO we're using the Marvel IP some of the nice things are that we have access to all of the Marvel uh, heroes I think there's like 8,000 or something characters in the universe so uh, we have access to the entire license it's not just a X-Men game or just a an Avengers game or something like that. It's uh, we've got everything. Uh, so we're at, we've made the decision uh, using this IP to actually play as the Marvel superheroes. So you will see us running around uh, as the actual characters uh, instead of you creating your own. Uh, there was Black Panther, by the way. That was yeah, somebody so random. Oh, look, and there's Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> so we got this is the live beta, so it's, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be other people playing in the, in the game this time. Wow. So this is definitely something, you know, like you said, it, it is like uh, an MMO slash action RPG. Yeah, um, it, it is. It, it's kind of a full mix of those two things. We've taken what we feel are the... The, the best parts of an MMO, which is lots of people in the game playing together, kind of cooperating, doing all sorts of fun things like that, <laughs> maybe competing later, and then uh, and then uh, combine that with you know action role playing games, which is you know, my favorite genre. Of course, <laughs> mine as well. Mine as well. This. So uh, it, it's really a, it's a new twist on action role playing games. Uh, never before have you had a zone where there's. 25 to 50 people running around the same area kind of rampaging together and that's really kind of the the, the, the type of game that we're trying to create mm. here i mean it looks amazing i, I think it, it's just going to be a lot of fun and, and you know like you said with having 25 to you know 50 potential people on there's just gonna be like a lot of action a lot of chaos and it's hey. really awesome level 10. nice <laughs> Congrats. nice nice wolverine's leveled up here uh we have uh are we gonna yeah, so I, know, I know you want it. And uh, <laughs> yes, we'll go to the, uh, we, here are our first sample of power trees. We uh, have just started to put this in and uh, they'll be filled out throughout the beta. But uh, here he's decided to go ahead and put some points into a new skill. They'll allow him to leap across the screen and, and kind of land on the enemies and you know, strike them down. Nice. So it's a fun power to use. There's a, there was a champion, he dropped a bunch of orbs. That's something new that we've added recently, uh, were these orbs. Uh, orbs drop out of characters when you, sometimes when you defeat them. Uh, there are, they come in a variety of flavors. Red for health, uh, purple for both health and mana, blue for mana, and then gold for experience. 
one of the big differences between our orbs and the other orbs that, that are in many other games are that, that our orbs shrink over time, which there is. So as they are out there, the longer they're out there, the less they're worth. So you have to kind of jump out there and get them for their full value. Yeah, I mean, it definitely makes it kind of more dynamic. Like, oh my god, I got to get it now, other than, you know, before right. it, it kind of runs away or, like, you know, disappears on you. And I think that's kind of, that's kind of cool. As you can see, there's a lot of action. On the yeah, <laughs> like, yeah it, it's awesome, you know, just getting, you know, like seeing all everyone's favorite, you know, superheroes doing different things and kind of teaming up, maybe right. even teaming up in a way that you never thought they would team up, which is kind of like another cool dynamic. And yeah, and uh, we will definitely be playing more to that in the future. Uh, there'll be s special things for for groups uh, that will that I think that people will be very pleased with. Uh, one of the things that obviously that happens when we're, you're, you're a big group, there's a lot of action, obviously. But uh, playing as these different, ooh, a purple, ooh purples, <laughs> uh, playing as these different heroes, they play very, very differently from each other. And uh, having Hulk in the party, for instance, will ensure that there's just a lot of rampage and destruction going on. Uh, and uh, Scarlet Witch has a lot of control and a lot of, uh, a lot of area damage and mm -hmm. things like that. Wolverine leaps around the screen. So there's just a, a, a very different feel to, the, to each one of these heroes. We have, we've announced 26 different heroes you can play as at this point. And, uh, and we feel that we're trying our best to really make each one play differently from each other. As well as we're also kind of the same philosophy that we've used for a very long time. Uh, in my previous games, like even as Wolverine, there are multiple ways to play Wolverine, just like mm -hmm. there were multiple ways to play uh, an Amazon, you play as a Polazon, a yeah. Spearzon, whatever. Uh, same kind of philosophy applies to this, where the trees, with the trees and stuff, you will be actually be able to customize your version of Wolverine, and he'll play very differently than other people's Wolverines. Yeah, so I mean, the, uh, I was talking to you before we streamed that, you know, like, that was a big thing for me too, just discovering, you know, the skills and kind of trying to find your best, you know, skill sets to your best mixture or, you know, whatever you like to play with, right? And um, that was a big thing for me and, you know, coming from Diablo 2 and, you know, even for this, like from playing it a little bit beforehand, is that, you know, there there was all that customization of what you can do. And on top of that, you guys have costumes, which is yes. amazing yes. as well. Uh, so we have a, a bit of a costume crafting game uh, in the beta uh, that uh, you can determine the look and then the stats are dropped, dropped randomly. So there, and there's a little bit of crafting associated with it. So uh, what I like about this is that uh, there are a lot of great costumes in the, these, these characters worn many, many costumes over the years. Uh, and even characters you wouldn't think that there were many costumes for Hulk or something. He has quite a few if you actually delve into the IP. Um, and so uh, we saw that Wolverine actually changed costumes. So the stats are random, uh, but then you can control what you look like. And that's really important to me. I've been through games playing as superheroes before. My favorite costume is, you know, the costume for this character is mm -hmm. only for levels one through five or something like that. And then you have to change out to a costume that you don't like. And, yeah. uh, and I really wanted to avoid that. I wanted people to be able to kind of express themselves through the way that they looked. I mean, it's definitely really cool. And I, I think just having the, the, you know, being able to it is kind of a random mod depending on what you find, I think, or maybe yes. it might change, at least that was what it was for me. Absolutely, it is random. It, 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 just like Diablo 2, all mm -hmm. the uh, items are randomly generated, uh, and they have random attributes uh, that are dealt you know, from affixes, and there's different quality levels than there were in, uh, in Diablo 2, but in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. uh, it's the same kind of philosophy supply here. Gotcha. So we're going to the Hydra outpost, it looks like. Right, right. This is actually an instance just for you and your party. So the only people that will be in here will be just uh, just your group. Uh, we have several different types of areas in the game. Mm -hmm. One are towns, which are not instance. They have you know, many people that uh, that can be in town. You'll see a hundred people running around trading that kind of stuff. You're kind of like an ogre mar, if you will, of, mm -hmm. of of our game. And uh, then we have public combat zones, which we were just in there at the beach uh, in Madripoor, where. Even people not in your group could be out there and you're just going to see people running around doing their own thing, kind of mixing it up. 
And then there are private instance areas uh, where they will have lots of boss fights and things like that in, in these private areas that, uh, that is just set up for you and your party and the, and the dungeons will scale with, uh, with your party uh, as well. Very similar to the way this, that we did things in Diablo 2 uh, when people joined your game. Gotcha, gotcha. So basically, if there was like two people, it would just, you know wouldn't be as hard. Obviously, um, like I'm, I'm liking the digging the destructibles. It, it looks like there's different kinds of destructibles, and there's like a fire and like an ice. Yes, and like yes. Poison. In this one, there this is a lab, so there's a lot of different types of things that you can throw that have different effects. Uh, uh, some are poison clouds, some are you know, fire, and uh, they are labeled with different colors here. See if I can throw uh, an uh, icy one. And there's there. lots okay. of different things that can blow up and be destroyed, uh, as well as uh, items that will give loot uh, when they're destroyed, uh, crates and things like that that you would, that you would uh, normally expect. The equivalent mm -hmm. of a chest, basically. Yeah, and there are those kind of chests too. I, I noticed. Yes, um, yes, there are these shield chests that uh, that that are kind of help packs that uh, that are throughout the game. Somebody asked if they could be Modok. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? Uh, uh, I can neither confirm nor deny that you can be Modok. Um, uh, so then we have uh, uh, a bunch of different. Uh, uh, yeah, so might try. He's ice skating. <laughs> he, <laughs> is, he is. He is. saw how there was ice guys. He's ice skating. Doing on an impressive uh, limbo you know? dance right now. Very, very nice. The okay. um, uh, this is so, beta, guys. So just, this is know. beta. We have uh, we have had we a found a foam problems. bug. Uh, <laughs> I would suggest. Oh wait, don't get. All right, there, there we go. That get helps. By the Grim Reaper <laughs> will help. The uh, here's an example of a boss fight. Mm -hmm. Actually, the boss is very was put in here was uh, is not completed for the beta, but mm -hmm. uh, but he will put up a little bit of a fight here. But <laughs> oh, 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 look! So he, he actually has got a, a new item, costume, a nice. costume that's dropped. Uh, yeah. So there are different levels of items, like we were saying, and there's a bunch of different categories. So there are white items, base items. Uh, there are green, which can have one effects sometimes two. Uh, blue items, which have two to three. Purple have. have uh, at least four. Uh, then we uh, also have uh, unique items. We have medals. We have a, a bunch of different things that, that, and so there's a lot of different categories. Some you, you can craft, some you can find, uh, and uh, and so that's it, it's it's as rich, if not richer, than uh, Diablo 2. We have a bunch of plans in the future as well. Uh, things that are coming soon that uh, will really fill that out quite well. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I, you know, it's obviously it's a looter game, right? So yes. like, that's like the biggest part of it, so which is amazing. And, to uh, me, yeah, so. we will not disappoint in that way. I can guarantee it. <laughs> awesome. And you know, like you said, he did pick up a medal there. I think medal are, are looks like right. they're boss specific, and they kind of give you yes, a specific exactly. trait exactly. depending yeah. on you know what exactly. you pick up. So the Grim Reapers looks like. It gives you 30 HP every time you kill someone, which is pretty cool. You're killing really a lot of people. Really powerful. I think I'm really powerful. powerful. So he's going to use it. To, you know, so yeah, we get um, different medals. Take on a little bit of the trait uh, of the uh, kind of the philosophy of the, the boss that you've hit. And also, uh, and so once you defeat these guys, you can only wear one of these medals at once, but it really can kind of change up the gameplay or enhance what you're already doing if you're really kind of trying to go for a you know, tank type of character, or you want a bunch of healing or a bunch, you know, maybe some short immunity metal or something like that. Those are the kind of things that you're looking for. And uh, and so going out and defeating specific bosses to get that metal that you want uh, is going to be a lot of fun. Gotcha. Also notice that, you, you know, like, just staying on the, the looting type uh, mentality here, like, you do pick up, you know, other items other than for your character. It seems like so yes. it's good for, like, parties and stuff. You guys can Well, there, there are two things that, that I should say about that. First and foremost, all of the loot on your screen is for you. We instance the loot. Uh, so, uh, so what you see on the screen can only be picked up by you, uh, which is nice because mm. I've played with too many people that were loot vacuums where I was <laughs> no, killing Alton everything. No, spam click, man. Yeah. Alton spam click. As That's I was killing everything, die. they were picking up everything. So uh, I was kind of sick of that. So <laughs> here, here was a way to, uh, to, to address that. Uh, and we feel that it makes a more friendly environment to, yeah. to play in. Um, and so uh, that's that's first and foremost, being able to uh, actually loot the stuff on your screen uh, and, and not feel bad about uh, taking it away from somebody else. Um, and then I actually forget the other part of your question, which is... Uh, uh, oh, oh, just that, you know, like the, the neat part of it was just that you can pick up 
other, you know, oh, right. class other items classes. Oh, right, other classes. So, yeah. since we're dropping the loot just for you, we have a lot of the loot is kind of tailored specifically for the character that you're, that you're playing. But we also want to encourage a, a vibrant trade economy in the, mm -hmm. in the game. And so, some of the items that drop uh, will not be for you, but for other characters. You'll be able to, you know, play other characters as well as, uh, you know, trade uh, maybe for that specific item for the character that you want to fo focus on. Gotcha. So no auction house? Uh, we will not have a real money auction house. Gotcha. Good to know. Med kits. Yes, med kits. Yes. So at any time, Stephen, do we want to show that off? Uh, at any time, you can actually switch which character you are playing. Sure. Uh, and so uh, yeah. we will kind of show that. We have a roster of characters that you are that uh, you have unlocked, uh, and at any time we can probably want to switch back because we have yes, a pretty low level. Yes, uh, <laughs> he's going to switch to his level one Iron Man. Hope nice. to not die here. Uh, <laughs> he's got a party. They can carry him. So over. <laughs> it takes a few seconds to change, so you can't be getting hit while you are changing. Uh, but uh, but other than that, you can uh, you can switch to a, a character whenever you would like. Okay. And what's the philosophy behind that? Since I'm not I'm not used. To that. It's like something yeah, no, new, it's, obviously. It, so. it is. It's something very new for action role playing games in, in general. But we want people to be able to choose different characters for different situations and be able to experience this thing in a lot of different ways. We have a lot of different characters to, to play and level up. And so uh, having the ability to do that and, and switching which character you have at any given time will allow for a great diversity. Oh, I'm having a lot of time, a tough time with this boss, with this particular character. Maybe I'll switch and play something else for a second. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to the Or switch back. And, uh, <laughs> a little weak there, but yeah, yeah. for the area. I was leveling, area. but yeah, that's yeah. fine. Uh, so uh, we think it's an exciting feature. Uh, nobody's really ever kind of attempted this. And so you can, you know, at any time, switch who you are playing, and we, we think that it, it's going to add a lot of depth to the, to, the, to the entire game. Yeah, it's definitely like fresh and new. I'm, I'm kind of interested in playing around with it. Like you said, you know, maybe uh, you know, said character wasn't so good against X boss or something like that. And right. you'd be like, okay, and maybe I need a range guy for this guy. So that's right. that's pretty pretty handy to have. Are you guys uh, heading to the, uh, the next area? Trying to. Oh, I think they're. Just oh, to make okay. Fun. Found a few hundred guys. Much fun, you know. Yes, <laughs> yes. No, that definitely happens when we're demoing. You know, off, oftentimes random things come up because it, the game is so random. They, these public combat zones are randomly generated, mm -hmm. so uh, it's who knows where the exits are and all this kind of stuff. But sometimes, you know, the random loot and the random enemies and encounters, as well as all of the, uh, uh, the random layout. We get kind of absorbed in the entire gameplay and, yeah. and forget that we're giving a demo little... and say, "Oh wait, let me hit them." Oh, a purple just dropped. <laughs> <It's all laughs> wait, natural. no. I, look at all this. Uh, look at this. This encounter that's that's happening over yeah, here. It's only natural. You see, guys, you just want to beat them up, right? That's yes. kind of the point. Yes. Yeah, so. Yes. And so, in terms of the random like generation oh, of maps and get. whatnot, yeah. is it different every time? Is there like a set yeah. amount of them, or is it just always going to be like? Yeah, uh, there are. Uh, so the way that the public combat zones work for, this is about the best description I can give, is that uh, at specific times we will uh, generate new instances of this and, and put a bunch of people in these these instances. When, when one is generated, they, it's a random layout. What appears there, some of the quests, some of the instances, all that stuff is all randomly generated. So playing through the game multiple times, uh, you will encounter things that you've never seen before. Just like... Uh, uh, like I've done with past games. Mm -hmm. And so uh, uh, that's one of the great advantages of being able to, you know, of, of the demo here is that we never really see exactly what is gonna, gonna, gonna happen. Sorry, I didn't spend my points. Uh, so we have some good questions coming through? Yeah, I think there was a question. Sure. Like, uh, I, I'm just gonna ask it because he asked. Uh, Go ahead. He wants to know since that since it's, it is mouse only, can he actually use a controller? That has been actually a very big uh, one of the the most requested features. Really? Yes, and I'm kind of surprised. That's shocking to me. It, it is shocking to me. Uh, unfortunately, the game uh, is not really designed to play with a controller very well because with a mouse you can point exactly at what you want to fight. Uh, 
and and all of the skills are based off of that. Using a pad is is very different than using a mouse to select something. Mm -hmm. So the philosophy is kind of night and day where I'm pushing my character around the screen instead of commanding them where to go. Uh, and so the input would be very, very different. That doesn't say we won't do it in the future, but it is not planned at this time. It's okay, I think it's crazy. It's crazy <laughs> talk. Come on, man. You, it's like, I don't know, maybe it's like a newer school thing. I'm so I, used to like PC I games. I think that a lot of, lot of console people, this is something that they've asked for, mm -hmm. and, uh, and which is just great that they're interested in the game. Uh, but uh, just as a kind of philosophy of way that the PC works, and we've really tailored the interface and the way that you control your character specifically for the mouse. Gotcha. I totally understand. <laughs> <laughs> I think that once people play the game and, and play it with using the mouse, you'll see that it, just like RTSs don't play super well on the console because the input yes. is so so different, they'll realize the same kind of things apply. That doesn't mean that it can't be done, and there have been very good action RPGs on the on the console, uh, but that was not the philosophy that we used when we were uh, originally designing the game. It looks like we're in a new zone. <coughs> yes. Some, the hand, I think. It's the yeah. hand, right? Yeah, uh, yes, uh, there are hand ninjas out here for sure. Uh, uh, as well as this uh, race of snake people. The, um, and so uh, they're kind of in conjunction with each other. The, the kind of backstory of this area is that uh, that Hand and Ninjas and the, uh, the Hydra are fighting each other on a quest to, uh, to, to get this Tablet of Life and Time, which is the, the kind of the, the ultimate prize. All, our faction and two other factions are kind of fighting each other mm -hmm. and trying to get to this thing at the same time. All right, a bunch of questions flooding in. Havoc playable, yay or nay? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's, here's another thing we haven't talked about yet because I, you guys have talked about it previously, I'm sure. Um, flying ability. Uh, now yes. Iron Man and some other characters have that. Uh, yes. Someone's asking, will that matter? Uh, yeah, it matters. <laughs> uh, you can fly. So uh, that, that, that's a really a unique thing for action RPGs. Nobody's really ever done this before. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's fully controllable. You cannot attack while you're flying, but it is more of a travel power. You can use it to fly across the screen or fly to different areas and, uh, and get places quickly. And it's a really fun experience to be able to, to, to play that. Uh, we really like the way that that is going. And it, t and it constantly drains spirit, basically our mana. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, so there is a price to pay for it. Um, um, uh, but it's really fun to be able to fly over enemies, kind of drop down and, and start a fight. Sounds good. Um, more questions? I'm just going to keep firing them off. Um, We're fighting a cool dude over here. Oh, but we are fighting so a cool dude. One so of the let's thing, One of the things cool. that we have in here yeah. is uh, we have NPCs, uh, bosses, that require, that are in public areas. This is a Gorion. This is an example of one of our bosses that's a public combat zone boss. And it takes a large amount of people to take him down, and he'll do a whole bunch of activities that, uh, like, turn Did people to stone. Uh, and, uh, and so it takes just, oh, he has a ton of hit points, and it takes a while and a whole bunch of people to cooperate to, to work together to, to defeat him. So in the public zones, this is one of the things, and he'll drop special loot that is very, very difficult to get. You, it requires, you know, this kind of group uh, activity. And we have other group activities for the people, not just defeat the boss. There are other types of activities that are kind of public zone quests. Nice. And, uh, and defeat the boss is one. This is an example of Gorgon. So we're going to go ahead and fight him and see how it goes. He has a variety of, abil of abilities. One is a dash that he does across the screen that uh, kind of wipes people out and all that experience. Plenty of wars. Eat him up, Pac-Man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. And, uh, God can't help it. It's got to be done. Gorgon's run away here. He's uh, a... Yeah. One of the fun things about <laughs> this is that as you're fighting this, like more and more guys spawn in these areas. And so you're fighting not only all hand. of the things that are spawning, but also the, the boss at the same yeah. time. It can it can be pretty chaotic. Uh, he also turns people to stone. This beam comes out. There's his dash where he will... Uh, uh, charge through someone. He has a big strike, a triple strike there. Uh, Let's see if he's going to shoot out his beam. I mean, this is definitely more intense than when I fought him, you know, by myself. And yes. Uh, it looks, you know, like more dynamic, definitely more mobs spawning. That makes it way more fun. That, which is actually someone's question is, you know, can they play this individually and still have as much fun as, you know, playing it uh, with, you know, multiple, one. you know, people, like in a party? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can play through the entire game solo. You nice. don't, it is not required to, re to play with anybody. Uh, you can. Uh, I, I think 
that and part of the reason we've made it in MMO is playing together is much more fun. Uh, and then having these kind of public zones and public quests that allow people to cooperate, even if you're not in the party, everybody's running around and we have a, a you know, some sort of uh, boss or something like that. Everybody getting together and working together to defeat this boss and then everybody shares in the reward. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just kind of the philosophy of the game and something that makes it very, very different than other action RPGs. Uh, another question, level cap. Do you have one yet? Uh, we don't have an announced one. Yet. Okay, gotcha. So, <laughs> well, it could be anything, guys. It could be, you know... It'll be high. Yeah, it'll be high. There you go. Um, so, people, different people are asking about the loot system. We kind of talked about it. I'll just sum sure. it up. It's, uh, you know, you guys get your own loot individually. Yes. Um, you know, you can share loot if, oh, if it helps down. you. Gorgon's almost, almost down, almost though. Down. Oh, Everyone is stoned. <laughs> he doesn't want to die. There we nice. go. Well and done. Yeah, so... The loot pinata. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get your own individual loot, um, sometimes catered to your character, sometimes for other characters, you know, to help facilitate trade, as David mentioned earlier, or just for your other characters yes. you know, that you might make that you can stash away. You're like, oh, I got a sweep over Hawkeye, so definitely going to make a Hawkeye or something like that. Right. Um, Let's see. So, oh, here's another question. This is Marvel superheroes, but they want to know: Can you play the villains? <laughs> uh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? It would be. <laughs> you know, just throwing it out there. This is going to be free to play, right? Yes, that's one of the great things about this title. Uh, something that, uh, of which I'm very, very proud is that the entire game is free. It's going to be free to download, free to play. You can play through the entire thing for free. There's no pay for, you know, to get into specific areas or to get past some level cap or anything like that. The entire thing is free. You'll be able to choose from, uh, we're thinking, five-ish characters at the, at the beginning that will all be free. You can play through the entire game. Uh, uh, and then there will also be microtrans in the game uh, that will allow you to enhance your experience, but they are not required. So if there's a specific hero that you want now, uh, that that is something that you can you, you can buy. Gotcha. Uh, you'll be able to buy some of the costumes and stuff like that as well. Uh, none of it is really gameplay affecting like that. It's mm -hmm. not like uh, it's not like we're selling. Oh, in order to defeat, you know. Uh, Doctor Doom, who's the ultimate villain in the, yeah. in the game, you have to have microtransed or anything like that. That's not the philosophy that we're trying to employ here. It is basically completely free. We're giving away basically, uh, you know, the, the entire game. You can play through the entire thing completely free. Ne never have to pay us a dime. Oh, we got a pirate Deadpool. Another sweet costume. Yes, thing. yes, that's one of my favorites. It's my favorite. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, it's even more enhanced in the in the latest beta. Uh, and so uh, I'm very excited about that one. That's uh, yeah, getting getting pirate Deadpool was a big win. That's that's a lot of fun. There are a lot of really great costumes to choose from. Things that you would never even suspect that the, the hero has. Even Hulk has a bunch of different costumes. He has Planet Hulk, and he has uh, the Maestro, and a whole bunch of really great costumes. Uh, Mister Fix It. Things that he's done in the past uh, that. Uh, you know, there's so much material that we have to work with that uh, that allows us for you know, a huge amount of, mm -hmm. uh, of looks. There'll be really hundreds of costumes at launch. At launch. That's awesome. So basically, you know, just to kind of follow up on what you just mentioned, it, it, you guys will get five characters. Seems like right. to play for free, full game, um, and you know, you guys have the option to choose if you want to, you know, pick up another hero or you know, different various costumes. Uh, so it isn't pay to win. Right. Obviously, you're going to get the whole game. Um, no. And and uh, the heroes are you can acquire the heroes through gameplay. Uh, oh, so they're any, jobs. Yeah, yes. So uh, uh, you can acquire them all through gameplay. However, if there's this guy that you just can't wait any longer to get, this is one way that you know one way mm -hmm. to do that is through microtrans. Awesome. Uh, that just makes it even more fun for me is that I can get a drop. I can get. I can find X character, or you know. Uh, you can find costumes too, yes. which is also cool. Yes, we actually saw a costume drop. Yeah, we did. Uh, <laughs> playable on Mac? Uh, I, Maybe? Playable on Maybe. Mac. I, I love Mac. Uh -huh. I use a Mac. Uh, Mac will be coming someday. <laughs> <laughs> I can't guarantee it launch, but uh, we're going to try. Sounds good. I'm just trying to look at questions, guys. Also, uh, if you guys see the first key and it's invalid for you guys, that means it's used up. We are going to drop another key sometime in the middle of the stream, and then we're going to drop another one at the end. It is a multiple use stream, so just 
try again. It is not a fake. There are people in the chat that have gotten it already, so I'm re dispelling that right now, that myth right now. <laughs> um, oh, all these gosh. different different questions. Uh, let's see, they want to see all these gameplays of different characters that I know aren't even in yet. That yes, might no, have that's, uh, you know, so. that, we get that a lot. That's one of my, one of the favorite questions that a lot of people, people ask, is Hero X in the game, right? You know, it's <clears throat> some obscure, hey, is some obscure hero from the 70s, and I, I love those. That, uh, uh, But... Again, we you know I can't talk about it anymore than we've course. already announced but, at this point. But like you said, the good news is you guys have all of it to play with right. if you want to go there. Like they right. have the ability to right. pick and choose who they want. And this even this in a later is day, this, a this is an MMO. We will be constantly updating it. It is a live game that you'll be able to play at any time. We'll be updating it with new heroes, new areas, new things all of the time. So uh, it is it is very much uh, you know not. Final as soon as it's shipped, which is very different than other, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of other games. This is something that'll be constantly updated. Back to the characters and costumes. Can you trade those? Uh, I doubt it. Doubt it. Okay, that's fine. I'm still happy. I'm content with that. Just a question, of course. Um, Damn. Someone wants to know some of the story arcs. Sure. Uh, we're really excited about the story. Uh, the story was written by Brian Michael Bendis, uh, who's a very famous comic book writer, mm -hmm. and uh, really is one of the, oh, there goes Miss Marble. The, uh, <clears throat> there she's flying, yeah. did you see her flying around there? She's fast, wow. Yeah, uh, and so, oh, there's a nice bug. That's the drag, drag the dead body <laughs> around bug. The, um, uh, so, uh, he wrote the story. It's very, it's it's great story. It's a huge story, uh, and uh, there's a really good video of this on the internet where we talk about uh, the story. So it's the story revolves around Doctor Doom, who has the Cosmic Cube, which is the Tesseract from the, the Avengers movie. movie. Mm -hmm. So Doctor Doom has the cube and is uh, trying some, to do some evil stuff, yeah. and uh, and we're trying to thwart his plans. And so uh, there's a bunch of objects that we have to try and collect before he gets to them so that uh, that we can afford his plans. Sounds fun. It is, and there's a lot of villains, <laughs> there's a lot of locations that we go to, many famous locations from all over the Marvel Universe. There's a huge variety of places that we're going to go to. As you can see here, we've, you know, going from Madripoor into that bamboo forest back here uh, into this beach. We'll be going into lower Madripoor here in a bit. And, uh, you know, there's just a, a variety of different places that we go that are that Marvel fans will know and love. We've been to Avengers Tower, and there's, you know, of course, Manhattan's in the game, and uh, Savage Land, and a bunch of places that are just really fun to go to. Savage Land, by the way, for those that don't know, is a, is a uh, little jungle in the middle of Antarctica that's filled with dinosaurs. So you can just nice. imagine dinosaurs and the Marvel heroes is a winning combination. That is... You can't lose. You can't lose. Like, how can you lose with you dinosaurs? Yeah, you can't you lose can't, with dinosaurs. You just can't. It's just impossible. You guys gonna go into the brood cave there? Yeah, we can. Briefly. I guess it's brief anyway. So yeah, it's quick. There's a couple more questions. I think you answered this previously. I, I believe you said there's no PvP, right? Uh, I have not said that. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, then I am wrong. <laughs> Is there PvP? Uh, <laughs> I uh, we're not talking about that yet. Okay. Uh, it sounds like fun. So you can take that how you guys want to, but you know, that was a big thing for me in Diablo 2, you know, dueling and all that stuff, which is super fun, which is also another question, you know, someone in, in the, the chat happened to, you know, Diablo 2, obviously, right? Is it going to kind of, I mean, obviously it's going to take elements of what you learn from that game and you're going to you know, use that for this. So. I mean, uh, this is, this is definitely... You know, a lot of the people that are working on this title are people that I've worked with for a long time that worked on Diablo 2. And, uh, and so, uh, in a lot of ways, we're trying to take Diablo 2 and push it to that next level. Uh, we've got oh, an even more known IP, you know, worldwide. Uh, uh, is, you know, Marvel is one of the largest, if not the largest IPs in the world. And then, uh, and then we're doing 26 character classes instead of five. And then uh, we're doing uh, that we've announced so far. Yes. And that, uh, and then, you know, we're going to have trees for all of these guys. We're going to have a, a giant quest line. Uh, we're 
we're doing an even deeper item system. Uh, and so in a lot of ways, it is it plays to the, the Diablo 2 crowd, and we're trying to kind of take that to the next level. Here we are making it a full-blown MMO with cooperative group quests and things like that, it's things that we've never done before, and we think that will really just make this game uh, shine. Yeah, I'm totally looking forward to it. I'm sure there's a lot of people in chat or watching the stream or just out in the world that, you know, that after Diablo 2, they, you know, like, and now there's this great new IP coming out with, you know, Marvel Heroes. And, you know, it's going to be a, an adventure, you know. It is. Back it to is. It and it, it's been, you know, it. we think that it's really, it has its own flavor and, and a lot of unique abilities and a lot of depth that uh, that uh, really will please that, that crowd that uh, that we know and love. Wolverine has put on his yeah, brown hot. and yellow suit here. <laughs> it's classic. It's classic. Classic. Yes. So let's talk about, I guess we can talk Ooh. about the skills more. Whoa, she... There goes Ms. Marvel. I guess that's, yeah, that's gotta be... Marvel. Yeah, there goes Ms. Marvel. <laughs> there she is again. I wonder if it's like someone watching the stream like, Oh, did you guys see I'm gonna me? jump in the beta. I flew by. The Scarlet Witch can fly too. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Just not Absolutely. I, she she may not have taken the skill, but she uh, <laughs> but she has the ability. It is in her tree. I always feel like the Miss Marvel is definitely flying around just to get our attention. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice little Hulk leap jump. Yes. That looks like a lot of fun. It is. One of the things that, like I have said before, one of the things that's great about the game is that really as the playing as the heroes, uh, feels very different you know as the hulk you are rampaging you are headbutting you are stomping and you are picking up cars and throwing them and like just just creating lots of destruction and it feels very hulk like as wolverine i'm dashing around all over the place very agile like you know and so a lot of the philosophy of, of the character shines through in the skill design and so that that's what we're trying to create a good taste for the character and what they are like in the in the comic books through their you know different abilities i love playing as deadpool for instance and he's got you know he knows that he's in a video game he breaks the fourth wall and things like that you know that's and so those are a lot of well, there's a lot of personality in each and every single one of the characters that you play yeah i mean that's something we didn't even mention yet there's a lot of I, like deadpool for example because i play deadpool i love his banter yes know? Yes, and there's not just banter, uh, you know, little things that he says while you're playing, like, oh, how much experience are you worth, and things like that. Uh, but also, uh, as people kind of pass by, you see other people, and, and there are actually specific lines of dialogue for interactions between the different characters. So people that are friends in the comic books and friends in the universe will say nice things to each other and stuff like that. They, they, you kind of get the depth of their relationships with the different people. When you're in a group with other people, they'll say Wolverine and Cyclops will kind of rub each other, but they, you know, <laughs> kind of in a, you know, in a kind of jovial teammate kind of way. And, uh, and just like they are in the comics. And so that we've really tried to bring out the personalities. That's something that you, can, you can't really do if you create your own character, but we can yeah. use that full potential with the with this IP. It's gonna try to find some more questions here. I saw a bunch so I'm gonna try to Sure, go let's, ahead. Let's see what we can find here. Um, so this is the lower Madripoor region. Uh, they uh, they're on the way to uh, this is actually where the the Hydra are back again and they're attacking kind of the hand headquarters building. Uh, and so uh, you're trying to wade your way through this particular fight between these two groups to try and get to the... Uh, oh, there's a uh, radioactive isotope. That's a, a costume crafting core, which has all the stats associated with it. It looks like he's playing Black Panther. It's, yeah, that, that answers somebody's question. You know, they, were, they thought the costumes were just cosmetic. No, the costumes... They, they are cosmetic in that the, the actual costume and the look doesn't provide any stats. However, with the crafting game, you combine them together to create a costume that, uh, that has stats associated with it. Uh, are each character going to have kind of their own storyline, or is it just kind of one big storyline right now? Uh, there is, w it, overall, there's one big storyline. However, there are personal touches for for the different heroes. There are slightly different things that they say, and sometimes there's a little bit more story in one area than another because of the person you're playing. Gotcha. And um, how many regions do you think will be available at launch? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> We're looking far into the future. <laughs> a lot, yeah. A lot. I, I, I can't even run through them in my mm -hmm. head, honestly. Uh, I, uh, 
way more than 20. I don't, I, I don't even know really another yeah. number, but it's, it, 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 there's a lot. Another question, although you kind of answered it, I'll just answer it for you. Is someone's asking if there's going to be DLC? I think, as as David said earlier, it's going to be constantly S similar changing. to that, right? Yeah, it's we'll be, be updating adding, the game adding. all the time. It's not really it, you won't pay for it, right? It'll just be mm -hmm. updates to the game, uh, and we'll be adding new areas. None of this stuff will be the stuff that we're microtransing. All the microtrans stuff is mainly just heroes and uh, costumes, and then some other convenience type items. Here's a good one. What's your favorite character so far? Ooh, that is a tough one. Uh, uh, you know, I really like Hulk just because I, I, I love that character. Uh, and, and he feels so good being able to, like, rampage and pick up things and lots of destruction. That's one of the things that we've really raised uh, the bar on, I think, in, the, in this game. It's just really how much destructibility there is, how many interactive objects there are in the environment, how much stuff just blows up and shatters, and there's, you know, lots of loot that comes out of the things that, that blow up. So I, I think that it's just a much more interactive environment than anything that we've ever created before. And the fact that there's this interactive environment like this in an MMO is really, really unusual. Uh, most MMOs are extremely static in what you can do. Uh, and so we're really proud. And that, you know, most MMOs don't have this kind of action in it, right? Yeah, yeah it's the, definitely. It is an action RPG first and foremost. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that is, you know, we're very proud of that. Being able to put all of these people on the screen running around and the technology that we developed for this is, is really unique. Yeah. I've it's, it's blown me away so far, and I've you know I've only got a small taste of it, which hopefully you know more of you guys will get a small taste of it too. It's still closed beta, I believe, yes, right? Yes, right um, now it's closed beta. No, any any time for open when? No, and in a lot of ways we are. Uh, I mean, we really seriously don't have a, a launch mm -hmm. date because uh, yeah. we uh, we we're taking this one step at a time, right? Good. We are uh, gonna. When we get to different phases, then we say, okay, this is when we anticipate we're going to be ready for the next next patch or whatever mm -hmm. it is, and then we, we, we push ourselves. We're trying to get this thing out the doors, you know, in a timely fashion, uh, but at the same time, we're taking it mm. the right way, yeah. right? you know, and we're going to, so yeah. we don't want to announce anything yet until we're, we're more sure about where we are. That's great. Great to hear. I'm totally of, this, of that school, and I'm, I'm glad to hear that you guys are, you know, like, pushing the game that you guys want to push and when you want to. Uh oh, bug. uh oh, so Madam Hydra here. Uh oh, oh she, was another, she yes, was rough. Yes, here is another another one of our uh, public zone bosses, uh, Madam Hydra. She's the head of the Hydra organization, and, uh, and, and she uh, she has a variety of different moves. Mainly, she calls in a bunch of other uh, Hydra agents, and she when she does that, she turns invincible. She gets this green yep. shield around her. And so you have to fight the other guys. Once you fight the fight the other Hydra agents, uh, then she becomes Come. vulnerable again. Uh, it's a rough fight. There are a yeah. lot of guys that come here. <laughs> so that, that's also the other cool thing that I, I started to notice, and, and especially now with the, the party with five people, that each boss has you know a lot of different dynamics, which is really right. cool. A lot of different mechanics mm -hmm. to encourage group play, and that's and uh, and and allow you to uh, to to really take it, you know take advantage of the fact that there are all these people in this zone kind of playing mm -hmm. together and uh and we're really excited about that i think it gives it the game a really unique flavor uh that's uh, this kind of spirit of cooperation the heroes working together to defeat the bad guys and uh, it's all kind of dynamic this dynamic social interaction which is fun are there i think there's possibly power-ups too to, to kind of help your group kind of thing are there abilities yes. like that yes absolutely uh and that's one of the things that, that we're really excited about is uh, characters really take on their personality. You would think that like the Thing and Hulk might play very, very similarly, but, but they don't because the, the Hulk is more, much more of a rampaging, you know, I'm the strongest mm -hmm. kind of character, and Thing is kind of more of a teammate. So one of his tabs is really kind of focused on on group uh, buffs and things like that, getting into the party, nice. and, they, and they're stronger with bigger parties and things like that. Mm -hmm. That really allow you to kind of and, and make him play very differently than Hulk, mm -hmm. even though you would think at a glance that they would be very similar. 
that was that was a nice little thing that we just saw too with the resurrection. You can do a as you're fighting resurrection, which is yes, that's another cooperative thing that you can do. Uh, as as you're playing, you can click on other players who have been down and and resurrect them on the spot. Otherwise, you you know you're kind of taken back to your last waypoint. So back to the the, the powers and, and skills and whatnot. So there, there definitely are going to be, you know, certain characters or certain heroes that you might want to pick up to do, you know, to, to help, you know, your party even more so. <coughs> and so back to the Diablo 2, you know, you guys, you guys, at, kind of towards the end, you guys started synergizing yes. your skills and, and kind of like saying, hey, if you take these and these, you're going to kind of get a bonus. Yeah. So are we going to kind of see that? Maybe? Yeah, I, I would think that in a lot of ways uh, a lot of the answers to these questions that you guys might have is that you have, it's it, it, what would diablo 2 do it's really a lot of the uh, philosophy that that we've employed in 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 this game uh so we can expect a lot of the same kind of answers to almost any question uh that you might have it's in a lot of ways what would diablo 2 do gotcha. but then add in more character classes and kind of this public uh, version you know mm -hmm. where you're kind of rampaging with a large group of people uh and that's and that's really a lot of the answers to what you're looking nice. for uh, somebody asked also, like, how many powers, give or take, for each character? A couple of trees. And it trees isn't set them. right now, uh, and uh, and so I honestly I don't have an answer because it really depends on uh, on how much we can do given the time. Uh, but uh, there will be a lot. It'll be a full tree that uh, that will be fairly comparable with the other two. Nice. And so you do. You, so you said you started the game uh, when it does eventually come out. You're gonna start off with five characters, right? Yeah, that are free. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, that are free, and then you're gonna. So somebody wants to basically know how many. Like, are you? Is there no end to how many characters you can have? There's no like. No, uh, you can unlock them all and then change mm -hmm. to any of them at any given time. Uh, there is no. There is no current limit to, to the number of characters. Nice. You can have. No, I, I doubt there ever will be. There's no number of character slots or okay. anything like that. Right. The, gotcha. the roster is basically every hero in the game. Right. Um, we should point out that the five heroes, uh, the five starter heroes, mm -hmm. it's a choice of five. Oh, it's right. a choice um, of five. You, you, right. choose from, from, you choose one from those five, um, although you will um, probably get more than one of them. Probably. Hey! Oh, there we wow. go. That was a lot of extra experience that, that took popped a while. That was yeah. awesome. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I just gotta kill all these other guys to get it. <laughs> yeah. So are there gonna be kind of like your nice. enemy, like other than maybe Doom, like later game bosses that are gonna drop? Like maybe oh, yeah. not. Maybe no, not. E e like, yes, you can easily quality. imagine where we can go with this, right? You know, yeah. it's the. Uh, there will be lots of fun things to do at the end. Uh, lots of great uh, activities that, you know, it, a lot of our philosophies, again, mm -hmm. for Diablo 2, uh, I'm not saying that there's a cow level, but you imagine that there was a, uh, you know, a way to kind of get to some areas yeah. that, that drop better loot and things like mm -hmm. that. We're going to have the same kind of philosophy in this game. Nice. Gotcha. One other thing that I uh, should mention is that... Uh, I think that coming up, we had we had uh, we're talking about the the uh, microtrans a little mm -hmm. bit here and choosing your hero and stuff. And one of the things that I think that we're going to be doing here in the near future is that we're going to be starting a founders program. Mm -hmm. uh, this founders program will allow you to kind of go online and choose the heroes that you might want to start with right off the bat and uh, and give kind of a discount uh, at this time for oh. for being able to choose that now. And uh, cool. that program will be coming up soon. Nice little incentive. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Leveled up. Yeah. All right. right. Needs to spend some of these points. Got a new, got a new skill. Holy you cow! Six down. points. <laughs> yeah, you get. Sometimes you get caught up in the action. You kind yeah. Of forget, right? Yeah. You're just having too there, much fun. There is, and there's yeah. very little break. Oftentimes, uh, in the. Uh, I got that. In the action, so uh, this is very different than Diablo 2 in a lot of ways because you can't just sit in places mm -hmm. most of the time, uh, but. Uh, but we have the ability to go back. There's, you know, town portal and waypoints and things like that. So uh, you're able to go back to town very easily. Oh yeah, we totally didn't talk about that too. But that's yeah, the town portal thing. At first, I was like, oh, oh, there is one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, know, yeah like, exactly. Like, we've done it. We've done uh, it differently right this time. You can uh, use it's a button on the interface that you can click mm -hmm. that allow you access back to, to where you are and kind of take a pause and come back. Mm -hmm. 
So if you guys have questions, fire them off because we got about 10 minutes or so. I think there should, I, I wasn't monitoring the beta key situation, but there should probably be one more towards the end. Um, uh, yes, I'm getting a nod from our producer. So there is one more at the end, so you guys should wait for that. Um, are there, oh, that's, I totally forgot this question. Is there like a follower or a mercenary type thing if you're soloing? Uh, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Okay. <laughs> Again, take that as it is. Just a, I'm just asking for the people, you know, so. Um, let's see. Some of these we kind of answered already, so it's like, um, but, yeah. So one of the things that I just saw Sorry. on here that reminded me, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, a bunch of things that we're calling discoveries, which are basically little mini quests that are kind of limited to one screen. And so you might see somebody like trapped under a car or something like that, and you like pick it up or destroy it and set the person free, mm -hmm. or somebody's being interrogated by uh, by some, uh, you know, hydra agents or something like that, or, or beaten up, or you know, all these kind of things. So we got these little heroic events that you can go around and discover these little events. It's like a quest contained to one screen. You finish it, you get a little bonus experience. And so I think that that adds a lot to the flavor of the world and going around and kind of doing these little good deeds and hero heroic deeds. Uh, and a lot of times they'll have a, a bunch of story kind of background associated with them and give you a little bit more flavor as to what's going on, on in the world. They've made it up to the hand oh. Here's uh, Sharon Carter. Sharon Carter. Sharon Carter. She, have to this. she has got the next step next in our quest area. here. Uh, she is going to be under attack from a bunch of hydrages, which they finished off awfully quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no problems there's here. Quite a, there's quite a few of us upstairs. All right, up the stairs and into the hand headquarters. Uh oh. Are you ready for this? Sure, go for it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I think everyone else is ready. <laughs> See how fast we can finish them off. I don't know. We'll we'll see if you guys can get through it. Doctor Strange, good friend. Ninjas. Yeah, you gotta stop the ninjas. <clears throat> There's lots of destructibility in this environment. It's really fun. There's lots of uh, lots of stuff to, to blow up and destroy. It gives a real sense of power that you are controlling these you know extremely powerful superheroes. It's <laughs> you destroy massive amounts of <laughs> Well, you know, that's kind of a philosophy. It's like, yeah. you know, even in the Avengers movie, they're like, yeah. well, they really kind of screwed up the town here, but, you know, we're kind of glad that they saved us, but, you know, <laughs> look at all this damage. You know, that's a very common theme in the in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> Hulk, still destroying everything. It's okay, Hulk. It's, it's all right. It's Needlessly okay. throwing, th blowing Grenades. things up. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Deadpool. Pretty typical. Yeah. Know, pretty standard fare for him. Yeah, absolutely. You guys have fun? Oh, well. We gotta go up. I think that you, I know, think you guys passed it. Oh, we missed the corner. High. It was like a middle We did, top. we missed it. Yeah. It's okay, you guys. Saw guys you wanted to kill. I would have did the same thing. Like, yeah. eh, I'll go few, back. I'll there go are back. There's a few things we need to destroy, so yeah. yeah. This is also an instance. This is, you know, this, this part of the game is instance for, for you and your party. Surprising. Bad. Quick, get a microphone. I need to record that. We need to put that voice in. Uh, computer specs? Do you guys have that? Uh, we don't uh, have final. that. They're not final. Uh, it, it uses the Unreal 3 engine, which no. is really great yep. uh, for the front end. Uh, we wrote our own custom back end stuff for it because yeah. Unreal is not really an MMO uh, game, uh, mm -hmm. you know, engine. Uh, but uh, the front end uses the Unreal graphics engine to display all of the all of the graphics and sounds and visual effects and things like that. Uh, so it's very compatible with even lower end machines. Uh, and uh, so our, our philosophy is we'd like this to work on a, on a 10 year old computer. So that's kind awesome. of, that's what we're trying to get to. That's that's awesome. <laughs> right the more the merrier, right? Yeah, exactly. There's not gonna be much left of this restaurant once we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's hand It's okay. It'll, you know, it's like, just the hand headquarters. Yeah. Everything's fine. It'll get regenerated. Yeah. You know, it'll come back. Yes. You'll see it again. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. 
hopefully we can somehow get to that guy. I don't know. Oh, if we he's the get hand to the, champion. The big, the big boss here at the end. I know who it is, but you know, no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. It's getting close. <laughs> yeah. And we're, but we're starting to go short on time. But maybe we'll just have to defeat it's that last right on boss. The edge. It's part of like of you know playing action like RPGs and MMOs. It's like you want to stop, but nah, just, just one, one more, level. just, just one the, more, you know, just one, just one more. One level. more. I'm about to unlock that skill. I, I I'm try. very close to the next boss. I'm very close to the next level, whatever it is. Yeah, keeps me up at night, but I love it. I love it. Ow! This hand ninja with his little chain that yanks you across Ooh, the screen. <laughs> Oh, good old Hulk. No, just let me just break the walls down for you guys. <laughs> yes. No other way. I meant other other way. No! <laughs> you got tricks. Sorry, you can tell her. You got tricks. Dude. I didn't know this one as well. As the they fooled you. Oh, it's purples everywhere. It's internal <laughs> architecture is fooling me. You got it. Okay. You're going in there. There we go. That bazooka skill looks Oh, there he is. Really yes. fun. Another, another champion. Exactly. He's tough. He is tough. He brings yeah. in a bunch of other ninjas, which makes it even tougher. Oh, good old Whoa, Hulk. Whoa, don't Hulk worry. We got, we got a Hulk here. <laughs> we have a Hulk. He's also getting punished, so... We switched out from... Uh, Guys, if the codes ran out, you know, that's... Sorry, but you know you guys can they can sign up and you hope sign up. they get you know you guys can hope to get in you know there's always a chance uh, the rooftop you should, you should definitely oh, do that marvelheroes.com right. yes. you guys can sign up um, and you can you know set yourself up to try to Absolutely. get into beta uh, if, if you oh hello the fortunate this? to already have gotten in today hello Electra it's Electra nice get rid of the sorcerers magic. <laughs> yes. Glowy orbs. So I think that's the tablet you guys are trying to recover. Yes, yes. They have the tablet. Electra's got it. it now. Yep. Oh, Hulk is having having his way. Yes, he is. I like the zoom feature too. You know. Oh, so get out of there! I'm good. Oh, oh. Cool. So there's another little fun mechanic. Hey, there we go. Loop yes. pinata. <laughs> I mean, it's not really a mechanic. I was just trying to get a little, a little bit of a close up there. All right. All right. Well, okay, there we through. go. All the way through, we got, it. we did it. You guys Almost did it. Almost exactly job. an hour. Good that was job. great. You know, good job to everyone here. We got Leo, Ryan. You guys can't see them, but you know they're fist pumping. I made that up. Um, <laughs> but you know, thank you, David. We're thank you guys thank for you. showing up. Thanks you guys for the have opportunity. any last words for everyone out there? Uh, like you know, just again, go to marvelheroes.com and sign up for the beta, and uh, and I hope that everybody can, you know, will enjoy this when it comes out. Awesome, you know. Thanks thank, for watching. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, tuning in. Um, you know, you can follow us on on Twitch, on YouTube. You know, for more of this content, maybe you know somewhere down the road, maybe we'll run into each other again. We'll Absolutely. do something like this again. So you know, I'd thank you. Um, and yeah, cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You.